Apple just unveiled its latest iPhone SE. And while the company focused on the device's new attributes like 5G, its biggest attraction is probably what isn't new, the home button. If you're wondering why Apple phased it out of most phones, but hasn't killed it off completely, I'll explain. But first, a little history and why the home button matters. If you were an iPhone user prior to 2017, tapping the home button is probably etched into your muscle memory. If your phone froze, home button. If you needed to unlock it, home button. Need to access Siri? You get it. Apple swept us all away in 2007 with its first iPhone, and it looked incredibly modern. Just a simple, sleek glass screen with a circular button. In the original iPhone, the home button served one main purpose, take you to your home screen. The next year, the button helped us take screenshots for the first time. With the iPhone 3 came voice control, which you can think of as a primitive version of Siri. Then the iPhone 4 let you fast tap the home button to switch between apps. In 2013, the iPhone 5S home button gave us a Touch ID fingerprint sensor. After registering multiple fingers, you could use the home button to authenticate iTunes and App Store purchases. In 2016's iPhone 7, the button got a revamp, losing its clickiness and adding touch sensing capabilities. Then on the next year's iPhone 10, poof, gone. Suddenly you had to program your iPhone to recognize your face and swipe up from the bottom of the screen to go home. And people on social media were clearly outraged when Apple decided to get rid of it. Just check out the tweets. And then the great reversal. As some of us were coming to grips with the possible loss of the home button forever, 2020's second generation iPhone SE, looking almost identical to the iPhone 8, kept the home button around for those of us who wanted it. We love how simple and useful the home button was. You could argue it was the first smartphone feature you never had to learn to use. Getting rid of the home button also made unlocking your iPhone more complicated sometimes. Like when you were wearing a mask, if your phone didn't recognize your face, you had to enter your password, and that's really annoying. At least it was until Apple sent an update to fix it. But home buttonless iPhones do actually have perks. It's one less thing to break. You probably no longer trigger that Siri ding by accident. And Apple says Face ID is more secure than relying on your fingerprint. Touch ID has shown up in new spots. Apple put Touch ID in its Macs, starting with a 2016 MacBook Pro. You also get a sense of the old Touch ID button in some of Apple's latest iPads, which added the tech to a power button up top. So what does this mean for the future of the home button? Will Apple keep it around? Here's what we do know. Apple keeps pushing its vision forward regardless of our possible resistance to change. Remember, Apple killed the headphone jack, stopped including chargers in the box with your new iPhone, and stopped including wired headphones in the box with every new iPhone purchase. But Apple also wants to attract more customers, and one way of doing that is to deliver a budget iPhone, like the SE, with older parts that's cheaper to produce than tech to read your face. But Apple analyst Gene Munster says Face ID will become cheaper over time, and the home button probably won't be around forever. The simple answer is that if you love Touch ID and that home button, you better buy an iPhone now because I think that in the next one to two years, that will be a thing of the past. But there's no need to mourn just yet because it may pop up in other forms. The home button could show up as an in-display fingerprint reader, like what you'd find on some Samsung Galaxy smartphones. You can add your own home button to your iPhone using Apple's assistive touch feature. You can find it in your accessibility settings and it'll give you an on-screen circle that acts like a home button. But for now, if you prefer any of Apple's more cutting edge iPhones, the virtual home button will have to do. Do you want to keep up with the latest tech and find out more about how things work and where they come from? Please subscribe and be sure to comment below and let me know what I should investigate next. We'll be in touch.